Hey everybody, it's me, Veronica Drake. Yeah, the Divine Downloads is a little bit late today and you can see my background. I'm actually traveling. I'm going on a little bit of R&R &R for a couple of days, but I am still working, hence the Divine Download. Now, what do you need to know about Divine Downloads? One size does not fit all. I'm not telling you to make this work in your life. I'm not telling you that word for word, it's gonna be what you need. What I am telling you is that this transmission was given to me so that you could listen to it, see what resonates with you, and understand how you best can use it in your life. Are you ready for the download? Here we go. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's going to be presented to you. Will you be willing to show up? I know, sounds dramatic. I thought the same thing when I was taking the dictation as they were giving it to me. But they assure me it's truly happening. What you have been asking for, what you have been putting your focus on, your attention on, is showing up. They're assuring me that. Now, they were very clear to tell me it's not necessarily something you're going to love. So, time out, take time and look at the current energies in your life. What have you been focusing on? This is a time to be honest with yourself. It's time to take a breath, refresh, and you know how there's a saying when something doesn't work, you unplug it and replug it back in? Well, they said to me in the transmission, reset the manufacturer setting. Go back to the basic principles. You've gotten too far away from the basic principles. This is going to require you to step out of your comfort zone. Now, they're assuring me that stepping out of your comfort zone can be as easy as eating a new kind of food. It doesn't have to be huge because what you're doing is you're sending a sign that you are ready and willing to do some changing. Now, some of you may be listening to this video and you may be knowing that it's time to leave the relationship, to quit the job, to stop believing what you've always been told to believe. It may be something big for you, maybe not just eating a new food. Whatever it is, it can start small and like a snowball, it will get bigger and bigger. One change leads to another change, leads to another change. Your deepest desire to change will come as a result of who you are connecting with. Think about this for a minute. Notice who's in your circle. How significantly are they impacting your life, okay? If you don't know, step out of your life, become the observer of your life, and see what it looks like. Think of this as looking in a mirror because they are a reflection of what you're living. That can be hard to hear. This is a great way for you to see how to start to change your life. So you see Susie's in your life and you can identify what you really find irritating or frustrating about Susie. And then you have the opportunity to say, hmm, where is this in my life? Spirit's going to give us people, send us people, so that we can look at all pieces, all aspects of ourselves. Everybody has purpose in your life. What you do with it is completely up to you. So, how do you cleanse your life? Find a beautiful beam of white light. Just close your eyes, bring this beam into the top of your head and let it rinse your body. Just picture it pouring over your body. It's filling every soul, every ounce, every cell with pureness. Just bring it in. 
You can get as creative or as elaborate with this visual, uh, visual, visualization as you'd like, they said. Do it as often as you need. Do it several times a day until you can begin to feel the heaviness, the energy that you've been picking up from other people kind of wash off of you. This will become a literal, real feeling. Now, the main challenge you're going to have over the next seven to 12 days, they were very specific to say seven to 12 days, will be to practice controlling the tension around you, both the tension around you and in you. Energies are running very high over the next seven to 12 days and potential combustion. Now, you'll know what that means in your own life. This event is there and is going to happen to create clarity around detachment. Seeing things for what they are will motivate you to release and move away. Yes, it will look destructive. Yes, it will be combustible. And yes, you will finally have the courage to do what you know you needed to do. Now, a word of caution, don't ignore symptoms. The ones that make life hurt. Maybe these are physical symptoms for some of you. Maybe they're emotional symptoms. Ignoring the symptoms, however you identify them, will create infection. Infection, something eats at you, there's a, there's a poison inside of you. If it's physical, if it's emotional, it's never going to heal if you don't pay attention to it and you will get sicker and sicker. They needed that to be out there. So this ends the transmission from the guides. And I wanna tell you, I have been stepping into my power in a way that's bigger and broader than I've ever done. In fact, I've actually started doing light language. I've started, learning about it, I've started practicing it. And during soul sessions, what I'm going to be doing is offering a, a healing um, session using light language. And so if you're somebody that's feeling stuck, you're feeling emotionally drained, maybe you need a healing. I've got a couple of new techniques that were revealed to me, and we can cover all of that in your soul session. So book a soul session and let's get down to moving the energetic blocks, getting to the root of what's happening and finding your purpose. How's that sound? The link to book is in the comments below. Once you book, you must text me. This is not an automated process. You have to text me. I will get back to you with a time slot. I will need your um, birth time, your place of birth, and your full name, as I will be putting a little bit of astrology into this reading also. Yeah, there's a lot going on in it. All right, guys, have a beautiful rest of your evening or maybe your day, depending on when you're seeing this. I'll see you soon.